Hey, how you doing? Uh, this is my pre my pre draft video. Um, been listening to all the rumors. Been listening to everything about we're going up, we're going down. Um, I heard the crazy rumors about if they go up to number three, they're going to get a quarterback. The Lions are not getting a quarterback. <laughs> I, I I don't I, I last year it was right up to the afternoon. And everybody was. Detroit's taking Malik Willis. We're going to take Malik Willis. We're going to take Malik Willis. That would have been stupid. We got Hotch, who's got a superstar in the making. Okay, he had an awesome season last year. He's going to have an awesome season this year. He's going to be a great pro. It was stupid if we didn't take Hutch. He's a homegrown talent. He lives uh, like uh, not too far away from the facility, for crying out loud. Allen Park. So, if the Lions do move up, is they're going to move up to get Will Anderson. That's the only guy they're moving up to get. And I don't think, I don't think if Jalen Carter is going to be there, that they're going to draft him. I I think he's going to Seattle anyways. So if Detroit stays put at six, it's not going to matter. So all these people, oh, we're going to get Jalen Carter. No, we're not. No, we're not. He say Seattle's gonna take them, and they're gonna be hit. That that's gonna be their headache, not ours. And um, it would be nice with the second pick if they got another a corner or something, because everybody's like, "Oh, the defense. It's we need offensive players. No, we need defensive players. We need to have people that if the top guys get hurt, that we have uh, enough depth to be able to pull in guys that are gonna be that can play." And currently, our defensive line doesn't have a lot of extra guys. We've got some rotational guys, but we don't got guys that can come in and play. We're, we need upgrades. And if we get a Will Anderson um, to help out, um, he's going to help with the pass rush. He's a linebacker, but he's going to be a pass rusher. And... Uh, He's gonna he's gonna help out. He might I think he might be like they do with Hutch. I think he'll move around a bit and he'll be in a whole bunch of different spots and they'll just keep moving him around. The two of them moving around, it's gonna be the quarterback's not gonna know what's going on. And this is gonna be good. Our our uh, corners are gonna be better. So that's gonna help. And we need to get another corner because we only have one corner that's signed after next year. Um the later rounds, maybe a quarterback. Uh, maybe a running back. Uh, there's a whole bunch of rumors out there right now that people are calling about Swift, and they want to trade uh, trade to get Swift. Well, you know what? The I think they're uh, starting to get rid of all the guys from previous administrations. If they didn't draft you, there's no reason for, I think for them to think to keep you because you're not part of the plan. Swift's not going to get re-signed. He's uh, I tried to explain this to everybody, and everybody told me I was crazy when I said about Jeff Akura. They're going to get rid of him. No, they're not. No, they're not. He's our best corner. No, he's not. He's not. Now he's not. Now he's gone. Just like I said he would. Because if you're on, if you're listening to all the podcasts, podcasts, all these things are to, are, are to, they've got to, a lot of these guys know what's going on. They got their ears to the ground, and they say all these things, and people don't listen to them. And then somebody else says it, and they're, oh, you're crazy, you're crazy. Well, they got rid of Jeff Coor, didn't they? And they're probably going to get rid of Swift. And um, the draft, um, they're going to get probably at least two or three good starters out of this. And the team's just going to be so much better next year. And, uh, man, cannot wait till tomorrow night so everybody can stop with the stupid mock drafts and everything else. All right. God bless. I uh, uh, hope everything goes well tomorrow. I hope everyone's having a good time with the parties. And uh, go Lions.